click on this triangle right here so once i click on the triangle it's going to split the triangle into two so once i split it into two i'll just drag the first part of the triangle which is this one right here to the highlight part of it like this and i'll click ok hi everyone Tunde here welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you quick and easy way on how to color grade your image in photoshop using the photographic tuning graded map if you are using the newer version of photoshop you are not going to see the photographic tuning on your graded map so if you want to get your photographic tuning on your graded map if you are using the newer version of photoshop all you have to do is come to your windows and uh, click on gradient so once you click on gradient all you have to do is click on this place right here so just click on it and you are going to see legacy gradient so once you click on legacy gradient now you, all you have to do is scroll down once you scroll down you're going to see your legacy gradient over here so once you open your legacy gradient just scroll down and you are going to see your photographic tuning so just close this and come back to your adjustment layer click on your gradient map and just bring this one down and just look for legacy so once you see your legacy gradient open it and look for photographic tuning so click on your photographic tuning and you can see let me just increase this and you can see the colors right here so you can choose any colors that you want on your image then if you have the older version of photoshop i'm going to show you how to do it right now so if you are using the older version of photoshop so all you have to do is come to your adjustment layer click on gradient map and just click on this arrow right here so once you click on this arrow you are going to see this settings icon right here so just click on your settings icon and scroll the way down you're going to see photographic tuning right here so click on your photographic tuning so once you click on photographic tuning just click on append so once you append it just scroll, just scroll all the way down and you are going to see the photographic tuning all the way down so for this one i'm going to be using sepia one or for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to be using gold so you can use sepia one if you want to use sepia two if you want just choose uh, a color that's um okay with the skin tone you're trying to retouch but for this one i think i'm good i'm just going to look for gold i'll be using gold one for this image so look at gold one right here so i'll be using this gold so i'll be using this gold one for this image right here so i'll click on enter once i'm done so next thing i'm going to do i'll come to my blend mode and i'll change my blend mode to soft light so once my blend mode is on soft light you can see what's happening to the image it's looking red and i don't want it to be all red like this so i'm just going to remove this effect from the shadows area so to do that i'll come to my gradient map i'll double click on this empty space right here so i'll just double click on this empty space and it's going to show me the layer style option under my blend if option i'll come to my underlying layer right here so i'll just move it away from the shadow area uh, and you can see what's happened to the image so once i'm once i'm okay with it i think i'll leave it right here i'll just hold alternate to refine the edge so once i hold down my alternate i'll click on this triangle right here so once i click on the triangle it's going to split the triangle into two so once i split it into two i'll just drag the first part of the triangle which is this one right here to the highlight part of it like this and i'll click ok once i'm done now let's see our before and after these are before and these are after so you can see it has added that gold feel to this image so these are before and these are after you can see the gold feel that has added to this image so you can just go back to your gradient map and just play with any gradient you want any colors of gradient you want i just adjust them to i just adjust them to get the kind of color gradient you are looking for so i'm just going to delete this and uh, use just this first gradient map so next thing i'm going to do right now i want to get rid of the reds on this image so the easiest way to do that is come to your selective color then i'll come to my reds and just add a little bit of science to the reds like this and i'll remove blacks from the reds and i'll come to my yellows i'll add blacks to my yellows like this and i'll add science to my yellows like this and i'll remove yellows from the yellows like this and i'll click on okay now next i'm going to do i'll come to my hue and saturation i'll just reduce the whole saturation of the image a little bit like this so next thing i'm going to do i want to add contrast to this image because i feel the image has no contrast so i'll just come to my levels i'll push my blast in like this 
and i'll bring my white in like this as well to add a little bit of contrast to this image so these are before and these are after you can see what that does to the image that added contrast to the image and i can decide to reduce the brightness so i just bring my highlight inside like this to reduce the brightness a little bit so next thing i'm going to do right now i'm just going to put everything i just did in a group so i just hold shift i click on this gradient map and click on ctrl g to group them and let's see our before and after so this is where we started from and um, this is where we are right now you can see what that what that has done to this image you can reduce the opacity if you want or you can leave it like that so guys this is the quick and easy way to color grade your image in photoshop using gradient map if you learn anything from this video like this video so that more people can see this video i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative